welcome back to my channel y'all so today's video we're gonna get straight into it this is a big question that i receive a lot as far as yoni health overall cyst fibroids uterine cancer i've received once ovarian failure just a lot of questions about the overall womb and how to take care of the womb what's happening and what do we do let's even first start with our menstrual cycle so a lot of women have messaged me about endometriosis painful cycles irregular cycles absent cycles our cycle is essentially time for detoxification so our body is ridding all type of negativity whether it's energetically physically from the foods the toxins that we have eaten you also gotta remember a lot of women wearing makeup a lot of women are doing heavily chemically based things and our womb is trying to essentially detox all of that so when we're having painful cycles when we're having prolonged cycles even what you essentially need to unpack is what am i doing spiritually physically that is causing my womb to be upset so how i look at it our womb it essentially has its own emotions it harbors its own feelings and you have to communicate with your womb through yoni talks and if a lot of you have messaged me before or have had consultations with me y'all know i'm really really big on yoni talks yes you're gonna talk to your cootie cat because your cootie cat can communicate with you it can tell you things it can let you know what's wrong a lot of the times we are going through different things like breakups a lot of times we may be going through a situation that may be causing emotional stress that's another thing our wounds hold a lot of emotion energy negative emotion negative thoughts negative beliefs negative values our wounds are the seat of our sacral chakra anytime we have negative emotions negative thoughts negative beliefs for ourselves it gets harbored here so our womb where is it located it's located in our sacral chakra when we think about our sacral chakra this is the house of our happiness our creativity our joy so as women anytime we're upset immediately that is going to cause a very high hormone stressful hormone that then gets sent to our womb that then gets sent to our uterus and causes things like fibroids like cysts endometriosis so on and so forth this can also cause prolonged cycles due to the fact that it's trying to cleanse energetically all of this negative emotions, toxic thoughts, toxic people maybe even. So we have to cleanse our womb. So that also leads me to the question of how do we cleanse our womb? What do we do to uplift our womb, support our womb? Yoni steaming is a great way. There's many blends out there. I have my own blend if you're interested. It's located on my website. Um, I even list the herbs that are actually in my my exact yoni steam blend so if you want to make your own you can feel free but we need to go back to making sure our wombs are supported making sure our wombs has the nutrients the vitamins that it's needing another way that we can support our womb is making sure that we're eating healing food so when you're talking about healing yourself whether it's from fibroids cysts prolonged cycles endometriosis whatever the case may be you should be eating foods that is going to support that want that desire so what does that look like your raw grains your raw vegetables your raw fruits okay in the rising it's okay to skip out on eggs it's okay to skip out on those heavy meats especially for my loves who already don't want really food early in the rising something that has really helped me is the idea of intermittent fasting and if y'all have watched my detoxing and fasting video i talk a lot about different ways to fast different remedies that you can use to fast and intermittent fasting is one that has definitely assisted me along my journey i typically skip out on breakfast right and if i do eat something in the rising it's usually a fruit so a plum or some type of strawberries or apples or something like that so just getting used to eating light eating those foods that are going to support our womb let your food be your medicine okay your cootie cat is trying to tell you it needs a vitamin especially when we talk about discharge so discharge is something that they try to tell women is normal quote unquote think about it like this if your nose was to have mucus every day you have an abundance of snot you sneezing every day would you think that that's normal 
normal would you say that that's normal it's the same thing for discharge this is a form of mucus that is coming out of our wounds and it's needing to be addressed why is this mucus happening well it's because we have a lack of vitamins things like iron things like vitamin a vitamin c you need that how do you get it fruits vegetables raw grains right so you want to make sure you're eating your dark leafy greens you want to make sure you're cleansing with your herbal tea one of my favorites for the womb ever y'all know me red raspberry leaf tea red raspberry leaf has held me down through this whole pregnancy okay when I was going through a lot of my issues with discharge as well as BV, I noticed that even herbs like nettle, right? Even herbs like burdock root, which help to cleanse the temple, okay? So making sure that you're drinking your herbal tea, making sure you're staying stress-free. Like I mentioned earlier, those stress hormones can go to our wounds and causes that estrogen to build up, causes that estrogen to be so dominant within our body, which is what fibroids actually feed off of. So we have to understand that there needs to be a balance. So when we talk about balance within the womb, we need to make sure that we're operating both in our masculine and feminine. So a lot of people, they get so caught up in the endocrine system and all these fancy words that white men have made. But what I started to realize is, especially with PCOS, which I've mentioned before, I had an abundance of testosterone. Testosterone being your masculine energy. We gotta break, we gotta start breaking things down into simple terms so that way we can understand, excuse me, we can overstand and digest things better and we can go on to heal ourselves. So a lot of women may have issues with different hormones, balancing their hormones, having irregular cycles. Their cycles are up and down all over the place right so having that deep connection with your divine feminine making sure you're nurturing yourself you're grounding in peace making sure you're going outside to nature making sure you're having that connection with mama earth what does that look like for everybody it's gonna be different for me I like to garden for me I like to do yoga I like to go to the beach I like to go to the waterfalls especially your water element so your sacred chakra is definitely linked to your water element so things like the lake going to the pond going to waterfalls letting the water kind of rush over you getting in feeling that water is going to really really help to heal your sacral chakra there's even things you can do like yoga so y'all know I'm very big on yoga I love any type of chakra healing with yoga sacral chakra especially moving your hips your hips like I said earlier harbor these emotions if you are a woman especially and you're going through maneuvering through this life as women we harbor these emotions we harbor this pain trauma that we've been through whether it's sexual whether it's emotional physical trauma it all gets harbored in our hip you have to learn to get that out energetically holding all of that trauma can definitely do a lot of issues with our cycle can definitely do a lot of issues even with hip pain a lot of women don't know all these um hip issues they be having and things like that it all has to do with the sacral chakra you have to learn how to balance your sacral chakra that's a major chakra for women especially when we're in a society now where we don't have the time to be happy we don't have the time to be creative you have to make time for yourself you have to make time to show up for yourself and to nurture yourself so if you guys have any questions after i kind of just went through everything please be sure to let me know you can leave a comment you can hit me up on instagram tiktok instagram is better because i'm up there more frequently checking dms rather than tiktok because i get so many spam messages so be sure y'all are following me on all my platforms i currently have instagram these hidden gems i also have my main page that girl Vani. also have a platform on tiktok which is these hidden gems and i now have a twitter so make sure y'all are also paying attention to who you're talking to make sure it's me there's a lot of fake pages going on people telling me dming me i got scammed 200 dollars. i don't really know what to do about scam pages okay they're gonna be there we're in a very tough time society wise people are gonna scam that's just what it is okay so make sure y'all know y'all talking to me and nobody else i will never dm you for a reading i will never say something about the ancestors looking at your page i will never do any of that so make sure y'all out here are taking the necessary step to understand and understand who you're talking to so now that we got that out the way thank you so much for tuning into my channel as always be sure to stay out the mix stay lifted and do what y'all gotta do to make y'all happy to bring y'all peace okay because that's really what it's all about so i'll see y'all next time bye